Chilean needlegrass, or Nacella nisiana, is a perennial tussock-forming grass native to South America. It has become a serious environmental and agricultural weed throughout southeastern Australia. So much so that in 1999 it was declared a weed of national significance, or WANS. The WANS program seeks to establish a strategic coordinated approach to the management of 20 of Australia's worst invasive plants through partnerships with all state and territory governments. The program also works with local government, industry and community groups and farming networks such as Landcare. Chilean needlegrass, or CNG, is a vigorous competitor in agricultural, natural and urban environments. It can degrade native grasslands, severely reduce pasture productivity, contaminate crops and hay, and the needle-like seed can injure stock or pets. It poses a particular threat to sheep as seeds burrow deep into fleece and skin. CNG is spread by the movement of seed on vehicles, machinery and equipment, particularly along roadsides. CNG grows in areas with summer or winter rainfall that ranges from 450 to 1,000 millimetres annually. It invades all types of land within these areas and is commonly found along roadsides and other linear reserves, in pastures and crops, within native grasslands and in urban parks and gardens. It is currently found throughout New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT and has limited distribution in South Australia, Tasmania and Queensland. Climate modelling has shown that Chilean needlegrass has the potential to invade 40 million hectares in Australia. CNG can be difficult to identify as it has similar characteristics to a number of native and introduced grasses. This DVD presentation details some of the features that may help you to identify it. This identification presentation is designed to be used with the Chilean Needlegrass National Best Practice Management Manual, which provides more detailed information on the identification and management. The manual can be viewed online or ordered from www.weeds.org.au forward slash wands and follow the links to CNG. Chilean needlegrass forms erect, robust tussocks that can be up to one metre tall and variable in nature depending on grazing pressure. Under heavy grazing or slashing, plants can take on a prostrate growth form. The leaves are often described as having a distinctive colour, depending on the locality and conditions. During early growth stages, it can be a darker green compared to most other pasture species. During winter in colder regions, it becomes yellow or straw-like, unlike native grass species. Seeds are the best way to identify CNG from other grasses. Chilean needlegrass produces three types of seed. Panicle seeds, stem seeds and basil seeds. Panicle seeds are the typical seed that all grasses have and occur at the top of the flowering stem. Panicle seed is the easiest way to determine if you have CNG or not. However, it is only useful for identification in spring or summer when the plant is in seed. When fully emerged from the leaf sheaf, panicle seeds have a characteristic nodding habit. Seeds are enclosed in a purple sheath called a gloom. It is this which gives the flowering seed head its distinctive and appealing purple appearance. This is the first thing you should look for to determine the identity of your grass. The next step is to remove the seed from the gloom and examine the characteristics of the seed. A hand lens may assist you. The seed is usually 8 to 10 millimetres in length. It is largely hairless with fine hairs restricted to the callus or tip of the seed. At the end of the seed is a distinctive ring of short hairs called a corona. This is a very useful diagnostic tool for identifying CNG. Native grasses do not have a corona. 
Attached to the seed is the awn, typically 60 to 90 millimetres in length and is typically twice bent. This is much longer than in many native species and other nacella species. We will now compare the CNG panicle seed to a typical ostrostiper or native speargrass panicle seed that is commonly mistaken for CNG. While they are similar in size and general form, notice that the native seed is darker in appearance, is much hairier and lacks a corona. Panicle seed provides the best diagnostic characteristics for the identification of CNG. If panicle seeds are not present, you may be able to locate the other seed types. Stem seeds are unique to a few grasses, including Chilean needlegrass, Texas needlegrass and the S. patillos. Stem seeds occur along the flowering stem and are concealed by the leaf sheath. Stem seeds generally mature from mid-January to April and are spread in straw-like stems when at the end of flowering. Native grasses that are most typically mistaken for CNG do not produce stem seeds and therefore if stem seeds are present, it is recommended that the infestation be marked and quarantined until panicle seeds emerge and identification can be confirmed. Like stem seeds, basil seeds are also found in only a few grasses including Chilean needlegrass and Texas needlegrass. Basil seeds are found at the base of the plant. They can start forming within months of seedling establishment and be viable within one season. Basil seeds can occur on any number of stems, can mature at almost any time of year and are released when the plant dies and decomposes. Native grasses that are most typically mistaken for CNG do not produce basil seeds and therefore this can be a useful way of confirming that you are dealing with needlegrass. If basil seeds are present, we recommend that you mark the infestation and quarantine it until panicle seeds emerge and identification can be confirmed. Leaf characteristics are often used to aid identification of plants. While the leaf may assist CNG identification, leaf characteristics are extremely variable throughout its range in Australia. So it is not recommended that leaves are used to identify CNG without their diagnostic features such as seed. Chilean needlegrass leaves are between 1 and 5 mm wide, up to 300 mm long and are flat in appearance although they may roll inwards when under stress, for example during drought. The upper leaf surface is strongly ribbed, while the underside shows a broad but variable midrib. The upper side of the leaf is sparsely hairy and these can be felt by sliding fingers up the leaf surface. Native grasses have smoother leaves or have softer and more abundant hairs. There are also small tufts of hair either side of the leaf at the junction between the leaf blade and the leaf sheath. This is called a ligule. Wallaby grasses have similar ligules, however they also generally have much narrower leaf blades than Chilean needlegrass. Lookalike species include Texas needlegrass, lobed needlegrass, cane needlegrass, fescues, Ostrostiper or speargrass species. Texas needlegrass is closely related to Chilean needlegrass and is also a serious environmental and agricultural weed in southeastern Australia. It can look almost identical to CNG. The seed of Texas is marginally smaller and slightly asymmetrical in profile. The main difference between Texas and Chilean is the corona. Chilean has short, thicker hairs resembling a beer cap, while Texas has longer and finer hairs approximately 3 mm long. Here are some seed illustrations of other nacella seeds. Notice that they all have coronas. 
We hope that this presentation will help you to identify Chilean needlegrass and other nacella weeds. Remember, however, if you are still unsure, consult your local agronomist, grass specialist or the National Chilean Needlegrass Coordinator before planning any control works or other activities. For more detailed information on CNG identification and other aspects of control, refer to the Chilean Needlegrass National Best Practice Management Manual or contact the coordinator from the Weeds Australia website www.weeds.org.au forward slash wands and follow the links to the CNG page.